for my primo. I promised you a twist. A twist with another Venetian classic. Risotto with radicchio. The flavor of radicchio has an inherent bitterness to it, which is an interesting thing for chefs to work with in terms of finding its counterpoint. Savory fatty pancetta, all browned up and releasing all of its wonderful flavors. In with my shallots and just a little softening on them. Now risotto is a classic method to making it. And these are the simple steps. Flavoring foundation, such as the pancetta onions, sometimes garlic. In goes your rice, just to give it a little toasting. And sometimes you can actually hear it crackle and pop. When it comes to rice, there are several varieties, and some of the most known would be aborio, canaroli, and this one, violone nano, beautiful short grain rice, that texture that is so essential to a perfect risotto. My rice is just starting to toast up nicely. Each of the grains have been coated in the fat from that pancetta. I have my broth at a good hot temperature, ready to incorporate into my riso, my rice. I'm using a vegetable broth. There's gonna be enough savoriness from the pancetta, so I don't want an overpowering meaty broth. From here on in, it's all about a gentle stir, gentle simmer, and adding more and more of that broth until that rice absorbs all of the moisture whilst releasing its starch and becoming very creamy. And at this early stage of cooking, it's time to add a little wine. In this case, dry red, because there'll be enough sweetness in that wine to be part of the counterpoint to the bitterness of the radicchio. My risotto rice has really plumped up very nicely. And the little bit of sauce that is floating around in the pan has a thick, creamy texture to it, which is from the starch of that rice. In goes my radicchio. fresh leaves of thyme for that last minute punch of savory flavor. And the cheese of choice for the Venetians is Asiago, a cow's milk cheese that is soft, creamy, and tender when it's young. And with a little age, it becomes more crumbly. For me, what is important is that the risotto still fluid, it moves, it's alive. Look at that. And see the way it glistens and shines? Radicchio on top with some toasted hazelnuts for a great little crunch and the best part. Cheesy gooiness from the Asiago. It is a dish that is very soothing. It is a dish that is very warm and welcoming. And after all these years, I still love a really great risotto. <laughs>